Hello, this is Ashwini and welcome back to the new series of Recursion and why this series is so special because I have done a lot of research reading books and practice after that I have <laughs> just uh, write these notes and all because you can have better understanding after completing this Recursion series you will not have any single doubt why we are using Recursion and why Recursion is important that's my promise to you okay so without waste time let me start this video and you have one question in mind hey Ashwini how we can get these notes i will attach the link in description you can download these notes from there and totally free there is no cost not a single rupee okay okay so let us start this video so you can uh, have the, the something idea in your mind right what is the recursion is so when you ask to your teacher or colleague whatever they will say the function call itself that call a recursion simple definition right that's true okay and some uh, in many tutorials i have watched on youtube they say like the function which call itself but the recursion is which uh, uh, call and divide the task in a smaller chunk of pieces that's called recursion right all the definitions right we are not talking about like which one is wrong and which one uh, is right but we will discuss about our roles any function which call itself it's a recursion right yeah basic definition now a recursion method solve a problem by calling a copy of itself to work on a smaller problem i think you haven't this idea right uh, recursion call itself by solving a problem in a small pieces a uh, smaller problem and this is called a recursion step okay this is a theory part just try to understand it because whenever we move into the coding part we need a little bit theory because uh, if you have remember that uh, 10 plus 2 in physics questions right when we move to the physics question before that we have read in a lot of theory uh, physics theory like how the formulas work so that's why i read these notes and i will give it to you because in future when you are preparing for our placements and all this will help you okay so now this is called a recursion stack okay a recursive stack now the recursion stack can result in many more such as recursive call i will make you understand what is a recursive call is and what is a recursive stack okay it is important to ensure that a recursion terminates it is saying if some method calling itself again and again that is a recursive step okay try to understand it and it should terminate and definitely because if the method is calling itself again and again then compiler put that stack call like call in a stack and again and again if it's call then it's called a memory issue i will show you in a debugger like how it will cause a memory issue and how it will go to the infinite call so we will not practice any code uh, like which makes our memory leakage or memory issue not memory leakage like memory will be full uh, like whatever the memory available for the stack right for calling a method it will be full in a basic term now each time the function call itself with slightly simpler uh, or smaller version of the problem okay because whenever a function call itself okay then it will call for a smaller problem it is not a very uh, when you ask or when you read in a book it will say the function call itself so solve a smaller problem but why it call because we divided that code and according to some logic we will see that okay and the sequence of a smaller problem must eventually coverage on a base case and a first line we here in a highlighter it is recursion terminates that the same thing here cover in a last line the sequence of a smaller problem must eventually cover in a base case where we terminate our program that we call a base case okay now the main important thing recursion why we are using recursion right you can ask me hey ashwini why you are using recursion is it uh, possible to be all do the all codes of iterative submissions and all now recursion code is generally shorter and easier uh, i know we you are using a recursion then it will be a nightmare for me when our uh, learning recursion in my uh, early days it will be a very uh, headache for me like i haven't understood like how it is working <laughs> so generally shorter and easier to write a code as compared to your iterative codes okay generally loops are turned into the recursive function where they are compiled and compiled or interpreted what it is saying second point if you are writing a your loops that is an iterative approach when you compile your code it automatically get converted into the recursive calls or recursive methods okay the main important point is recursion is useful technique borrowed from mathematics how when you are in 10 plus 2 there will be one theorem that is called induction right and that is a mathematical induction what it says like let 
I need to prove that the sum of the first n natural numbers is i tends to 1 to n and this is an equation and n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay. We need to prove this LHS and RHS. So how I will do that? Like put a n equals to 1, then you will get an 1 from this equation. Okay. Then you put n equals to k, you will get a k, k plus 1 divided by 2. This is a normal equation. I am not uh, teaching you math here. Okay, right? Now, n equals to uh, k plus 1, you will get this equation. Now, when you do, this is the equation I have formed because I want to prove that RHS equals to RHS. And why you, like, I know whenever I have, from here I am starting this concept of induction, you lose interest. I know this is a very uh, different part, but my way of teaching is different because I want to Make you understand like why and how the concept is used in a recursion. Okay, now this is a very important thing. That's why just uh, listen carefully. We make a series from one to k plus one. Okay, it means we want to calculate a sum from one to k plus one. So here one two three four till k. So what is your k? K plus one divided by two. Right from this equation. So it will k plus 1 divided by 2 k k plus 1 and this k plus 1 and LHS equal RHS. When you solve this, it becomes LHS equals to RHS. Now, what do you get from this uh, whole equation? Let me tell you. This is the equation you put for any value, right? Like n equals to k, you get an answer, right? In an induction theorem. So what you will say, like you get a k plus 1, you get an answer. You put a k, you get an answer. So from this theorem, you have to assume my function work before writing my function definition. This is a magic of recursion. If your function is work for, let me make you understand. If your function, let's suppose there is your uh, function, right? And it is expecting integer n. Okay. And this is your recursion function. And your recursion function is working for n input, right? So you will say my recursion function is working for n plus n minus one also. So you have to assume if it is working for higher or any lower, okay? Then it works for this kind of input also. So from this definition, we got to know like we have to assume. I know it is a bit difficult when you are if you are starting your um, recursion first time now. One pro tip, while using recursion, we can perform operation in three ways. Now your coding part starts from here, okay, because this is a bit different, okay. I will not teach you recursion in that same manner, okay, uh, function calling itself, function calling itself. The eight year, like eighth class boy also know what is the recursion and uh, how the function call itself, okay, because you are moving to the new era. Now, while recursing, uh, while using a recursion, we can perform an operation in three ways. How? doing a work while uh, stack is building here the word stack is very important just keep thing in mind because uh, the thing in recursion is all about your stack how stack calls and how stack fall okay now while stack falling while stack building and before a call you can say that a work this is a combination of second and first point while your recursion is building and while recursion is falling okay now, so this is an example and I hope you are uh, enjoying this course, okay, or this playlist. So uh, we are starting a new fresh video from the example and I will make you understand how the recursion works with the uh, three that uh, stack falling or building and uh, doing a work before a call or after a call, okay. So uh, let me know in a comment section, like uh, is it helpful or not or how the series is going, okay. I will catch you in our next video. Bye-bye.